Hi everybody. Apparently our live stream, or my live stream, got cut off because YouTube said that we were breaking community guidelines and we're not sure how building a egg-saving contraption is breaking community guidelines, but either way, the live stream was cut off before we were able to save the egg. So, in recap, I've been building a small contraption to stop a hard-boiled duck egg from my garden because me and my wife have ducks um, being smashed on the floor, okay? And it's hard-boiled because, well, I don't know. I don't know about you, but smashing an egg over your own kitchen floor is probably not very smart. And Mel, my wife, would probably be really upset if uh, if I did do that. So we uh, we won't do that. Anyway, inside here is an egg. I've been building this strange contraption out of a few things that you can probably tell. I've been using some old recycled paper and flyers that we don't need anymore. I've been using a few toilet roll tubes. Um, I've got this, but I haven't used it. It's just some more cardboard. And then I've got a load of Lego. And so what I've done is I've used, a, I've used the uh, cardboard toilet roll tubes and stuffed it full of paper and put the egg inside of it. And uh, now I'm building this sort of structure out of Lego to kind of um, hopefully break the fall of the egg. And um, well, I'm not too hopeful. It's, um, it's not the most robust of contraptions. But what I'm gonna do to finish off my contraption, ooh, if I can stand the camera up, is I'm gonna, Add some sellotape to the uh, legs of the Lego, just to hopefully keep it together a bit more. But I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent on this. Ah, oh, I can't find the end of the sellotape. <sighs> Bet you have these problems as well. Okay, all right. Just get a bit of sellotape. I'm gonna like tape across here, I think and hope that that'll sort of stop it from just a little... A little while ago, it was just immediately falling off, and it's just no good, so... Hopefully, this'll work. Um, okay. <laughs> well, I'm a little bit disappointed that my live stream got cut off, but never mind. Worst things have happened in the world. Okay, here we go. There is my contraption. The egg is inside here. We are going to go and drop this and see what happens, basically. So I'm going into my kitchen. The cat has spilt her cat biscuit food all over the floor, so that's useful. I'm going to drop it from like this height onto the floor there and hope that the egg survives. So wish me luck. Let's do a big countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, drop! Oh! Okay. Oh gosh. The Lego did not survive is basically is basically what's happened. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this back to the table and uh, unpack it and hope that hope that it survives. Here we go. Oh, phone's falling down. Sorry, phone. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, doesn't want to stay up. Right. Okay. I'm using my scissors to cut through the sellotape. I don't know, I'm fairly hopeful now, actually. This is the most unattractive contraption that I've built. But I think it might have done the job. Oh, no. Oh no. Can you see that? That is a proper crack on there. There's oh, all the bits are coming off. Uh, this did not work. This did not work. I am going to have to try it again. Oh, it's like you can feel the spongy bit. Oh, there's a bit that's just come off. This hasn't gone well. This This hasn't gone well. What we're gonna we're just gonna leave that we're just gonna leave that there for a little bit later 
Um, so I'm sorry that the live stream cut off, but hopefully this makes up for it. I'm just going to walk over here and quickly tell you about what else is going on this week on our live streams. So um, on Tuesday, you can join uh, Nick for Gaming Tuesdays. It's going to be loads of fun. I'm not sure what he's doing this week, but last week he did a FIFA contest with his son Joel, and that was that was brilliant. So it's well worth a watch. On Wednesday, Gary's joining us for Challenge Wednesday. Um, so I'm not sure what he's doing, but it's going to be good. Abby's going to be doing Devotions on Thursday, which is our Thoughtful Thursday slot. So it's a time to reflect, hear a little bit about the Bible, learn some new stuff and keep in touch with God. And on Friday, um, Gemma's going to be doing another Creative Friday, and it's Creative Good Friday, because obviously it's Easter on Sunday. So um, keep an eye out for those things. Just to finish up, guys, um, I was obviously, I started my live stream off by saying that I like to set myself daily goals at the minute, um, because or otherwise this whole isolation thing can kind of just make every day kind of blur into one and it gets a little bit boring and a little you get a little bit stuck inside your own head perhaps and there's a little passage in the bible in a in a book called philippians so it's a book that a guy called paul uh, he wrote a letter to the church in philippi and um and he writes um this little passage about staying focused on the goal and um, this is from the the message version of the bible and it says in philippians chapter 3 verses 13 to 14. I'm not saying that I have this all together, that I have it made, but I am well on my way, reaching out for Christ who has so wondrously reached out for me. Friends, don't get me wrong, by no means do I count myself an expert in all of this, but I've got my eye on the goal, where God is beckon, beckoning us onward to Jesus. I'm off and running, and I'm not turning back. And I think that's a, that's a great verse for us today, is to it's to kind of just keep going, even though at the minute things can feel a little bit naff. And uh, perhaps you haven't got much to get up for in the mornings because it's all the same. But um, God wants us all to keep going and to keep trying. So that was Motivation Monday. Join us for the rest of the week of live streams. And hopefully YouTube won't cut us off again and say that we've done something wrong that we definitely haven't done. Every day at four o'clock, join us. We'd love to see you. Thanks.